booth right now with Craig uh, Wurzel, and uh, you're going to talk to us about optical cables for Thunderbolt? Yes, thank you. Um, nice to meet you. Uh, Craig Wurzel, Sales Director of Corning's Consumer Network Group. Several weeks ago, we announced, uh, at CES, we announced um, USB 3-point optical cables by Corning, as well as Thunderbolt optical cables by Corning. Now, I should tell the audience that uh, I was badgering this poor guy beforehand because I said, hey, I got a Thunderbolt drive, I got a Thunderbolt cable, I plug it in my Thunderbolt Mac, and the transfer is really slow because the internal drive is the uh, is the the poor point. But it turns out that's just not the right use case for what you're talking about. Right. You're talking about long distance, uh, which is pretty crazy. Tell them about that. We're very excited about three key points. Speed, the fastest connection between peripherals and computers at 10 gigabits a second. 10 with gigabits a second. Per second with the protocol of Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt optical cables. Um, USB 3.0 has speeds of 5 gigabits per second. Uh, over distances up to 50, 30 meters on the USB and up to 100 meters of distance with Thunderbolt um, optical cables by Corning. Okay, that's that's crazy talk. Come on, <laughs> but it's but it's light. It's it's collated, right? Or uh, am I saying that right? What it's coherent? Yes. There we go. Optical cables, the transmission quality of Corning's fiber within the technology of the um, jacket allows it to be very durable, very rugged, and allows it to go up to 100 meters in distance. Now this won't work very well for the uh, the people on the audio, but uh, Craig's got a little block here of uh, of plastic of plexiglass that he has put the uh, the cables in pinched to 180 degrees down to zero size. So show them what what it can still do. Well, even with all of those pinches as well as a knot, the optical clarity is superior. You can on still the fiber. see he's got the uh, the collimated beam coming right out of that. And that this is, is nuts. This is glass. Yes. Well, you, oh, it's, it is glass. It's well, you guys are glass people. There you go. There you go. So we've also got, uh, you've got a couple of Thunderbolt drives. What's going on here? So we've got a Thunderbolt drive coming out of the computer, going th into a 30 meter cable, swinging around through two RAID hard drives, going back through 100 meters, so 130 plus an extra three and a half over here between the RAID drives, 133 meters of cable being fed into the Thunderbolt display. That is nuts. So All in daisy chain. That's not quite the use case I have in my house. Now, who needs this? Who's this? Who's the use case for this? So initial focus, of course, is the consumer, uh, prosumers, consumer, who's looking to move those those external hard drives um, away further from away. further away, up to the 100 meters we spoke about. Um, also, people who want to carry coil and store their cables, for example, is a 15 meter copper okay. cable. That's a that's a, a hefty piece of cable there. All right. And here's your 15 meter rugged USB. Oh, um, this thing cable. weighs nothing. I mean, this is like this is like a single uh, single charge cable. I think. Wow, that is amazingly light. So that's the USB 3 I'm holding right there. Yes. Which one do you want to carry? <laughs> <laughs> My backpack's already too heavy. So uh, this this has just been announced. Are they for sale yet? Uh, by the end of Q1, they will be in your favorite retail and online channels. I mean, we just announced it several weeks ago. Oh, cool. Do we have any price points yet? Retail and online will have those price points for you. <laughs> the answer to your question is no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Craig. And thank you pleasure. for putting up with uh, three engineers badgering you about how the optics worked and uh, the, the electrons and the My whole pleasure. thing. My yeah. pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.